almost all of us have almost the same core wound, literally all of us. So our childhood wound, because the child's needs are so simple. So there's like love, validation, att attention, all of that. If we don't get them, almost all of us have the wound of abandonment, rejection, invalidation, etc. But how we react and how we cope, that is what's different and that is what determines our attachment style. This child who goes up to the parent, asks for the love, doesn't get it. One child will think, okay, based on my surroundings, what do my parents most likely react to? I know that if I throw a tantrum of I'm like misbehave or I do something else that my parents will pay attention to me. I know they will. So I'll start doing that. Now I'll start getting like, you know, I'll be um, a mischief monger at school, which was me. Um, maybe I'll start like throwing a lot of tantrums and crying all the time at home so that they pick me up and they give me uh, some kind of attention, which again, all of those create like the fight syndrome. So this is with the anxious attachment style. And so in that way, whenever the child sees, okay, the parent is picking them up to soothe them or even to say like, be quiet or to say anything else, even to shout at them, the child is like, okay, at least here, mommy or daddy's coming to me for a few minutes. That's how the anxious style, anxious attachment style starts to take place. Now think about the avoidant. In the same situation, the same wound of like going up, not getting love, the avoidant self, the ego analyzes the surroundings and says, what would work in this surrounding? If I try to fight for it, if I try to throw a tantrum or fight for it, I think they just ignore me. I think they wouldn't really care. This happens a lot when you have, for example, a father who is, you know, based on like, I'm just taking North American conditioning, for example, if you have a father identity who says that, you know, emotions are not to be had in this house or like emotions are to be shamed here, especially as a male, then if you're a boy child and you try and go up to your dad and even if you try and cry and this and that, whatever, he shames you so much that you've completely felt inv invalidated for your emotions. So now what does this child say that's gonna work? Maybe I just need to like not have emotions. Maybe I just need to run away from these people who every time I'm around them and I ask them for love, they shun me. So in that case, the child now goes to their room spends all their time with themselves, obsesses and puts them, their energy into things that are not emotional, like building things, making toys, working, etc. And so that's how the avoidant gets created because they're so scared of emotional confrontation. Their childhood wounds around them asking for love are so strong that they felt rejected and shamed and shunned that they now create the coping mechanism of avoidancy. The ego says to them, this is what will work and keep you safe if you don't try and like get vulnerable with love.